Hi, I'm John. I'm an engineer. And I'm Judith, and I'm in real estate. Our daughter, Monet, is a fantastic girl. She's happy, outgoing, and full of confidence. But there's one thing that's got to change. Everybody wants some of this. Ah! Her boyfriend is a weirdo. This is Monet. She's dating Patrick. They've been together for five months, and Monet thinks it's more than just puppy love. But her parents think he's nothing but a dog. So they're setting Monet up on two blind dates with guys they've each handpicked just for her. If you think this is hard for Monet, imagine how tough it will be for Patrick when he sits down with her parents and they watch the dates together. <laughs> what the f is she doing? <laughs> Don't cry. At the end of the day, Monet will have to decide which guy she wants to keep seeing, her boyfriend Patrick or one of the new guys her parents have selected for her. Monet is about to get her love life flipped by parental control. Yeah! Hey, I'm Monet. My boyfriend's name is Patrick. He is cute, funny, and has a great sense of style. To start with, Patrick is a bisexual, which is fine with us. But what's not fine is that he's a cheater. He cheats on Monet with girls and guys. If he's not gonna stick with one team, he should at least stick with one person. And another thing, Patrick is obsessed with that crazy hair of his. He's always primping, preening, spiking it, putting products in it. I don't know much about hairstyles, but that looks like a dead rodent on his head. Oh. And Patrick is so wasteful, he just takes one sip of the soda and throws the rest away. But he doesn't care. It's not his money he's wasting, it's ours. It's definitely time to throw him out. And Patrick is constantly stealing Monet's jeans. Those are my jeans. Oh, I know, aren't they cute? And he doesn't even look good in them. What? Everyone's entitled to be stupid once in a while, but Patrick abuses the privilege. It's time for this dumbass to disappear. Now it's time for mom and dad to meet the potential blind dates for Monet. Hey, how are you guys doing? Hi. Okay. I'm Ben. My name is Brandy. Jared. I'm nice to meet you. John. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. What do you do for a living? I'm a caterer. Real estate agent. Graphic designer. I'm a lifeguard. I am a full-time business student. Um, let's see, I'm a rapper, songwriter, entrepreneur, actor type. So you're unemployed. Actually, yes, I am. I uh, work at a retail store as a sales associate. And I also dance. What kind of dancing? Here, let me show you. OK. Is that good? Kind of look like a broken pitching machine. <laughs> What kind of girls do you usually date? Like an easygoing, down to earth girl. A uh, smart girl, good personality. I really love funny girls. Strong minded girls, ones who can stand up for themselves. I usually date skinny, geeky Asian girls. Oh, wide array, but oddly enough, I've never actually dated a white woman before. I like my girls like a light switch. Easy to turn on. <laughs> yeah. Pretend this doll here is my daughter's boyfriend. Get him out of the house and for good. Sorry, player. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Get out of here. All right. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> you respect your parents. I can't believe you. <laughs> oh, that's good. OK, well, he's gone. That's yeah, good. He's, he's good. Our daughter's boyfriend cheats on her all the time. What do you consider cheating? Uh, kissing, holding hands. When my girlfriend were to talk to another guy, I think that's cheating. Would you be jealous if she was like talking to her boss? Yeah, she's cheating on me. Seems to be a little bit extreme. Anything that I wouldn't want to have done to me, I wouldn't do to your daughter. For me, it's if I'm making babies. Any type of romantic liaison, hooking up with another girl, kissing, having sex, doing three ways, all that type of stuff. Just basically what you see on the internet. OK. Mm -hmm. Different answer. Why should we pick you to date our daughter? Because I have class. I know how to treat a lady. I'm fun. I'm outgoing. I'm really responsible. I'm intelligent, witty, one of the hardest working people that you'll ever meet. And she would never have a dull moment with me. Because I'm a lover, and I know how to treat a lady. I'm cut up, 
I'm handsome. I'm almost like an action figure right here. Come on, why wouldn't you pick me? So I could finally cancel my online dating account. It must cost you a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> takes a lot out of my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Let's see what we got. I know my daughter, and that is what she would pick. There was a guy I liked. That's the guy right there. That's the That's guy him? I want to pick. Yep. OK, we did a good job. So here's the deal. My parents think my boyfriend Patrick is a total jerk. So they've each set me up on a blind date. My dad's choice is first. He wants me to be with someone who's clean cut and respectful. But he better be fun, too. I am so glad she's going out with someone else. I can't wait till this guy shows up. I can't wait either. Well, actually, let's make a deal. If you go on the date and the guy's cute, I see you bring him home, and we have a threesome. Oh my god, Patrick, shut the f up. You're such a frickin' man whore. Like, you guys have never had a threesome. Oh my god. You guys have a Tempur-Pedic mattress, and you guys are gonna say you've never had three. Oh, here we go. Ben, my man, come on in and meet the family. All right. The guy I picked had no tats, no piercings, and seemed like a really good guy. This is my lovely daughter, Monet. Hi. I'm smart and funny, and she would never have a dull moment with me. And this is the royal pain in my ass. Ben's got so many moles, it looks like he's half Caucasian and half Chips Ahoy. Are you ready to go on the date? Yes, I am. All right, let's get Excuse out of here. Excuse me? Hey, you guys have a good time. When Ben first walked through the door, I thought he seemed like a pretty cool guy. Monet and Ben are off for a smashing good time, while mom, dad, and boyfriend Patrick get to watch the action right from their living room. I like that guy. Why don't you date him? I don't date guys. You married one. You know what? I'm going to shove this up your ass if you're not careful. I can fit the whole DVD player up your ass. Oh, stop it. All right, I brought you the sound stage today because I want to do something fun and exciting. OK, great. I'm up for this. Today, we are going to be human wrecking balls. We're going to be rigged up by the rafters up there, go swinging through the air, and, and hit the wall boxes that we haven't built yet. <gasps> this is some date, putting boxes together. It's just beginning. Oh, UPS called. They said this date sucks, and they want their boxes back. So what do you do for fun? Ah, uh, skydive, snowboard. You've been skydiving? Yeah. Would you go with me if I wanted you to go? Yes, I would do it. Uh, she jumped at the opportunity. Oh, you look so sad. You're going bye-bye. <laughs> I'm not worried. Take a look at that. Oh my god, this wall's huge. I can't believe you're going to make me fly into this. You're going to love it, though. You're going to want to do it over and over. I don't know. I'm pretty nervous. That's not her nervous face. That's her get me the f out of here face. All right, let's get these harnesses on. OK. Oh, I hate to cover up your cute hair, but safety first. Don't worry about it. Cute hair? He doesn't even have a rat tail. Well, that's the point. His hair is ugly. My hair's fuego. You're fuego. You're bilingual, John? I had no idea. Yeah, and you're bi. I'm not bi. I'm try. I'll try anything. So I'm doing this for you, Ben. I you hate it. it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I make your daughter scream. Watch it. What? When I stretch out her jeans. And other things. Hey. Her t-shirt. Oh. Where's your mind? You guys are perverts. Are you ready? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> that is so much fun. <laughs> Boy, you would never think of anything like that. Oh, look at I that. Because I never want to kill her. <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah! Three, three, two. two. What? Ah! Yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, you ass! You need to get out of here. All right, I got a little surprise for you. There oh you my go. god! <laughs> <laughs> I believe that dumbass face is yours. It's not funny. So what's the deal? You're gonna be swinging through his face, letting him know that he's done. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see a big karate kick right through his face. This is for all the times he's been an ass <laughs> to you. Whatever. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Care. It's a picture. Take a look at him. He's finished. He's gone. I know. Would you like to get something to yes. eat? Yes. All right, let's go. Whew. That was intense. 
I've never done anything like that ever. I thought that we could have some jawbreakers. Oh, that's cute. What one would you like? The white one. Cool. So, going back to our high school years, were you voted anything? Like, funny, cute? Best ass. Best ass? I gotta see this. Get up. All right, see. all right. Oh, cute. <laughs> I know. His butt is kind of cute. Somebody's jealous. This is lame. I gotta get you home, so let's get going. Thank you, I had so much fun. Loved it. Shut up. It was stupid. Loved I hated it. it. Loved it. Hated it. Loved it. Hated it. Loved it. Go f yourself. Oh, struck a nerve. So I just got back from my date with Ben, and we both got a little wreck. Get it? My mom's choice is up next. She wants me to be with someone who's fun, loving, and handsome. I can't wait to see who she's chosen. You know what your problem is? You. You haven't grown up yet. Get a job and get your own stuff. You just can't be a mooch. You need to do something with your life. I'm pretty cute. I think that'll get me far enough. Well, you might look OK if you were a rock star, but you don't know how to play a guitar. So. I already have my fan base. What is your fan base? Monet and all the other guys and girls I've slept with. I'll get that. Great to see you. Come on in. Thanks. I picked Jared because he's clean cut, he has set goals, and I think Monet is going to love him. This is my beautiful daughter, Monet. Hi, Monet. Hi. Uh, I have class, I know how to treat a lady, and love to travel and cook. I'd be great for your daughter. And that's Patrick. <laughs> Honestly, Jared's cute, he has a nice smile, his naturally small pores. I'll scratch his eyes out. You ready to get out of here? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. When Jared first walked through the door, I thought he was pretty cute, and I loved his eyes. Monet and Jared are off for some sexy one-on-one -on -one time, while Mom, Dad, and Patrick are back at the house, ready to see how things unfold. Oh, he is adorable. You're going to be so out of here, sweetheart. His ass is ugly. He does not have a rat tail, so that makes me happy. Did you even brush yours today? <laughs> All right, Monet, you ready to get your paddle on? Paddle? We're going to be playing a little table tennis today. I'm just warning you right now, I get pretty competitive. Oh, I'm going to kick your ass at this. I think I made a great choice. I'm so proud of myself. Did she just kiss your arm? <laughs> That's pretty creepy. I take this game pretty seriously, so I figured we should have some serious outfits to go with it. Change into that and meet me at the training table. <laughs> great, thanks. You picked the lamest guy ever. I think I made a good choice. The only one that made a bad choice is Monet when she picked you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Jared. You look great. You do too. I like these short shorts. You remind me of the 80s. <laughs> you look good in any decade. Oh, thanks. He's dressed like Richard Simmons. You are so jealous. I can see smoke coming out of your ears. He has man boobs. I want to show you a couple moves before we get started. Okay. Look at you. Let me show you a little something I call the Jared stroke, right? Oh. <laughs> Just like that. Are you having a good time? Hell yeah. Oh, look at that. Uh oh. He's grinding on your daughter. They're having a great time. Learn from this guy. Oh, Monet. Monet's sleeping on the floor tonight. <laughs> All right, so you think you got your technique down yet? I do. I think I got this down, Jared. Oh, yeah? Let's take it to the down. center court. You ready? Down. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen her this happy in a long time. She's happy with me. I don't think so. Who would be happy with somebody that just sits around, never even takes them out on a date? Monet. You need to put up more. She needs to put out more. <sighs> All right, baby, you are going down. No, I believe you are going down. You ready for this? Go ahead and serve it. Loser gets a pat on the butt, and winner gets a kiss on the cheek. All right. This is going to be easy. You're cheering at a ping pong date. Ping pong. Are you in there? So you just don't know what good, clean fun is, Patrick. I could have more fun in a library. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'll... I wasn't ready. <gasps> oh. 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 Oh, what are we tied now? This is game point. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Get your little cute ass over here. Turn around. Bend over. Oh, <laughs> what about the kiss? 
<laughs> oh, look at that. Whoa, dude, get off my girlfriend. Patrick, you okay? I'm not going to cry. All right. <laughs> Good job on the game. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, I have some uh, soda for you. You earned it. Cheers. Cheers. He'd be perfect for her. He looks ridiculous. Yeah. He has one eyebrow, two big ears, and boobs. Judy, he's you. So what do you do? Well, I'm uh, studying international business, doing a little catering here and there. So does that mean you can cook? Yes, I can cook. Really? Yeah. Ooh, I'm liking you already. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he look surprised all the time? Hi, I'm Jared. Hey. So Jared, what kind of girls are you into? Well, dark eyes, dark hair. Do I fit that category? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Might as well leave now. What kind of guys do you go for? I like pretty boys. Well, what about me? <laughs> yeah, you're pretty not so bad looking yourself. Oh, yeah? Cute. All right. <laughs> That's good. Wow. Pretty not so bad looking, seriously? That's a hell of a compliment coming from Monet. Yeah, that's a compliment, huh? Well, I think she really likes him. Well, you guys aren't so pretty <laughs> ugly yourself. Did you have fun today? I did. I really did. It was... Awesome. Should we get out of here? Yeah, let's take <laughs> off. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm excited. I picked a winner. You picked a wiener. So I just got back from my date with Jared, and he was a blast. But now it's time for me to make my choice. Do I stay with Patrick or go with one of the guys my parents picked? This is going to be hard. Now it's time for Monet to make her pick. Will she choose Ben, the guy who broke through her heart, or Jared, the competitive cutie? Or will she choose Patrick? boyfriend of five months and the person her parents can't stand. Well, guys, it's decision time. And I think I know who I want. But I'm going to give you each one last chance to tell me why I should pick you. Well, Monet, you should choose me because I'm going to the top and I wouldn't want to leave you behind. I think you should pick me because I will give you the time of your life and these two guys are man enough for you. I think you should stay with me because we're best friends and we make a really hot couple. Thanks, guys. I had a really great day, but I still have to eliminate one of you right now. Jared, I like how outgoing you are, but you think you're a lot hotter than I do. Girl, you suck at ping pong anyway. I do. I don't care I got eliminated. I'm probably the hottest guy in Bonet will ever date in her life. And now, the hard part. Ben, I think you're really sweet, but I'm worried you might be just a little too sappy for me. And Patrick, I love how gorgeous you are, but looks aren't everything, and I need more from you. So I've made my decision, and the guy I choose is. Patrick. Yeah, yes. Oh my god, no way! No, no, no. You know, I made magic out of cardboard boxes and Monet just crapped all over it. No. Monet, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Oh. I can't believe she's staying with Patrick. You know what they say, you can pick your nose, you can pick your butt, but you can't pick your daughter's boyfriends. So what do you want to do now? I want to go find Ben. He was pretty cute. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. 